All right, no time to explain, gang. Welcome back, King Zeph here, back with another OCG Yu-Gi-Oh box um, breaking. Pfft, can't even speak with normal English like I normally can. Anyway, happy Tuesday to you guys. Hope you guys are getting a productive start to your week. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna do what is it? Part three, maybe. It's either part two or part three or part four. I can't remember how many of these boxes have opened, but we're gonna go back and look at the Animation Chronicles 2022 again. We are in search of that legendary Starlight slash Prismatic Secret Rare, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. It's ironically in English. So, you know, my, 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 my chances are low. My luck is not always the best. So I'm gonna try to see if I can force it out by wearing my Blue Eyes, White Dragon shirt with the Made in the Blue Eyes in the front. Of course, there's a Blue Eyes, White Dragon on the back, which you guys can't see because it's behind my chair. But that's neither here nor there at this point in time. Um, the goal is with this one, just like the other uh, Animation Chronicles, and I'm now adding Soul Burning Volcano to this. Um, we're trying to pull the, the promo chase card out of him, so I will not stop breaking these boxes until I pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, just like I won't stop pulling the other two boxes until I pull an Exodia piece, and then that'll be the end of these boxes as we know it, which also means I'm probably gonna spend a butt ton of money that I wish I didn't have to spend. Um, but fortunately, um, my plug, Yugi Market, has these boxes for relatively cheap price and for very fair prices. So if you guys are interested in OCG products, check out the link in the bio for Yugi Market. I talk about them all the time for my OCG uh, purchases. Fantastic retailer, fantastic online retailer from Japan. They get everything from Japan. They ship it to the U.S. Um, prices are very reasonable. Shipping is fast and shipping is actually quite inexpensive. There's been a couple times. I think the last time I purchased from them, quick little story before I get into the opening. Um, I purchased, I think I put an order in on a Saturday morning or Saturday evening. It literally, but on Sunday, I got the shipping confirmation because it was Monday in Japan at the time. And then by Tuesday, it was at my door. So uh, they generally FedEx over, um, FedEx International ship it. So it generally gets to you within two to three days after it's been marked as shipped. Granted how good your FedEx is in your area. So highly recommend them as a retailer. If you're interested in OCG products, check them out. Use the uh, link in the, in the bio for that. Um, and yeah, give them a, sh I'm just want to give them a shout out. But if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Very, very close to our 500 uh, subscriber goal. Once we hit that, we'll do our very first giveaway. One side for Yu-Gi-Oh, one side for, um, general for the, with the rest of the group. So make sure you're doing that. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. We appreciate your, uh, your viewership and appreciate your opinions and everything and you possibly roasting us. Um, we do enjoy that as well. Um, so send us your luck, send us your prayers. Hopefully we get this blue eyes white dragon so you never have to see this box opening again because I'm not purchasing a case of this because purchasing a case of this, well, it's actually cheaper than buying a case of most other sets, but still, I'm not buying a case of this just so I can pull up blue eyes. I'm praying that one of these boxes I get on the low has the blue eyes in it. Um, and so let's see if we can get some t-shirt magic, some magic hands, as well as some of that um, ghost rare dark magician luck and get the blue eyes white dragon out of this box. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. So here we go, another set of Animated Chronicle 2022. Just in case you're new to the channel and don't aren't, aren't aware, this set is available in English. This um, The cards in here came out of the Battle of Legends Crystal Revenge set. So these um, this featured the Advanced Crystal Beast monsters as well as, I believe, what is it, Royal, uh, Royal, uh, was a Royal Straight or Royal Flush Arcane? Uh, Arcane. So basically, the, uh, the the like the fusion card between all of the um, Royal Knights. So the Jacks, King, and Queens Knight. Um, and then, of course, it has like the um, Golem creatures and everything. So most of the cards that you got at a Battle of Legends Crystal Revenge, which I believe now is about a year old now. That set is getting kind of old. We've had two Battle of Legends sets this year. Either that or it came out in February. Um, I can't remember because this year has had already so many Yu-Gi-Oh sets come out that I can't keep track of when they did and when they didn't. I almost, I literally have forgotten on separate occasions that the first set this year was Photon Hypernova. And I keep thinking um, it's like Wild Survivors or Cyberstorm Access or something weird like that. So it is what it is. Konami needs to slow down on the Yu-Gi-Oh releases this year because they have done way too many in my personal opinion. Because there's been a couple where they've been like three a month and yeah, but regardless, so all of these cards are available in English. These cards aren't, uh, there aren't like previews, there aren't sneak peeks, there aren't stuff that's only in the OCG. This is stuff that's already on the TCG side of things. Um, so yeah, so we got uh, the D Dungeon Dice Field. Uh, th and then we have the Doodlesaurus, whatever the Cicada Insect Spell card is, Crystal Skull, and then a Parallel Rare. 
I forgot what this quick play card is with Elemental Hero Neos and the Tyranno is on it, but yep, there's our parallel. This pack, I believe, has parallel rares in it. It does have a standard rare, it has parallel rares, and then of course it has like collector's rare, ultimate rare, um, super ultra, and all that other stuff. And I think the last time I pulled this, usually with each box you're guaranteed a collector's rare at the absolute least, but I didn't recall getting one last time. So I don't know. It, it could be guaranteed, it could not be. So there's Cicada. There's the same card we got, just not in the high rarity. Then we, of course, we have Thunderball, the Orgoth spell, followed by, and there's our ultra rare of the Royal Flush Arcane Knight, which I think I already have this. Most of the cards I should, well, I, let's, let's rephrase that. I should have the entire set. I just don't have the entire set in all of the rarities. Another thing OCG does is that they will give you a 60 card set, and then out of the 60 cards, there will be a rarity bump for half the cards so you can get like a super rare of a regular rare or a parallel rare and all the other stuff so you can get the same cards as in different rarities so a little weird on that side but it's kind of cool it's a nice thing to have like the rarity bump within the set but it does get more confusion dragon nails and another cicada uh the amazonist uh continuous spell uh link apple followed by a super rare uh, i don't have any idea remember what that card is called um if i go in my binder i'll, I'll remember but we're not going to go and proceed. We're going to try to get through this as quickly as humanly possible. And then, of course, we have the shark. Whatever this card is again. And then there's our advanced crystal beast. Um, what is it? Amber Mammoth. Whatever that is. Followed by parallel rare of Cobalt Eagle. One thing I forgot to do. I know I kept track of things. I think the only... I should have the entire set of Crystal Beasts. I think the only one I'm missing is the Collector Rare of um, of uh, Pegasus, which I think is also the, 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 uh, the, I think that's the only one that comes in a Collector slash Ultimate Rare, and it's also the most expensive of the group. It's not terribly expensive, but of the Crystal Beasts, it's the most expensive of the group. Here we go with that, and then there is um, Amethyst, uh, Amethyst Panther, whatever that is, followed by another Parallel Rare of whatever that card was. Over here testing my memory. I can't remember all the name of these cards. Most of them are in the binder. Half of them I don't even use. So it's one of those things that is like, oh, well, let's see how that kind of goes. One of the G-Golem monsters, the Doodle Book, whatever that card was again. And then there is um, Emerald Turtle Tortoise, followed by, up oh, there's our Collector Rare. So here's our first Collector Rare. This was what a Clockwork... Uh, Clockwork Factory, and like I said, this is why I love OCG because this collector rare looks, and this collector rare looks like it's more shiny than the other one, which is kind of funny because the borders around this are just like regular gloss, and then it has the ultimate rare texting around the border, and also on the actual card image itself, and it's on the card text too. Yes, the card text too has a mild texture to it, but if you look at it, it has like a nice little foil glisten to it. Looks really, really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve that real quick. I don't recall if I have this collector's rare or not. I might, but just in case I don't, it'll be a nice addition to the binder. So we got our first collector's rare. Might be the only one we get out of here. So let's keep going and keep on pulling. Maybe we'll get an ultimate rare out of here too. All righty, there is, ooh, Topaz Tiger. Advanced uh, Crystal Beast, Topaz Tiger. Dice Field. Uh, this is what a Tycho Warrior. Another Dragon Nails, followed by the G Golem statue. That is a link. Excuse me. A little stuffy in this room. Oh my God, sinuses. All right, let's keep pulling. And, uh, this pack is becoming a little bit more difficult to open. Um, Paranormal Night Mage, I know it's a Synchro Monster. Um, UTC, Ultimate Conductor Kyrano. There's that in rare, and there's another Amber Mammoth, followed by Stonehenge. The Figo spell for that. About halfway through with this box. I think we have about six or seven packs left. Let's see if we get anything good out of here. So we got the Crystal Skull. Uh, uh, in Wave. Doodle Beast Agasaurus. Cicada card followed by... Here's a super rare of number two Cicada um, Warrior. I think we have like four of those already. So it'll be... Have a nice little play set of them even though I can't use them. So... Those will end up either being like thrown in a binder, thrown as the extra cards, or given away. So we'll see how that whole thing goes. 
whatever this magic card is, followed by the uh, D Dino Tank, the Royal Strait, whatever the shark was. And then here's our second ultra rare of the fusion of the Tyranno. Um, can't remember the name of this card, but this one is a ultra rare. All right, last six packs. Still not looking too hot. Not, not, some, not some bad pulls. This is better than the last time I opened this set up, but no blue eyes, white dragon. Come on, blue eyes, white dragon. Come on, blue eyes, white dragon. And there's another parallel rail. So last four packs. It's going to be fate that I'm going to have to buy another one of these boxes as well to find this blue eyes white dragon. So there's that. I, I've never seen this card before. That I've just brushed over it. This is probably a G Golem something, but I've never seen this card before. Stonehenge is common. Play Cicada, and then followed by another super rare of the G Golem Force. Um, I think this is the annoying Link Four. Yeah, this is the annoying one. I've seen that one in Master Duel quite a few times, and I did not have a good time. All of the Jigola monsters are very, very annoying. They had some weird effects stopping them from doing things. So yeah, I was not a happy camper. Alrighty, we have Scrapbook, the one Cicadas, whatever that card was, the Jigola in this, and then a parallel rare of the Amazonas trap card. Last two packs, come on, last two packs. We can do this. Come on, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. All you have to do is be in here, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. That's all you have to do. Link Apple, G Golem Heart, there we go for that. And then another parallel rare of the heart. So last pack, like I said, luck is not on our side today, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna pull it, we're gonna get it. May not be today, may not be tomorrow, but it's gonna happen at some point in time. Amazonas, whatever that is, the Permapal, UTC, and parallel rare Link Apple. So. Good news is, at least we got a nice little collector's rare. I have to double check my collection to see if I have this one yet or not. But I'm pretty positive. If I don't have that collector rare, I might either have it in ultimate rare or I might have it in ultra rare. I'll look in my binder and my collection of cards um, when I get a chance and figure that out. So that's going to conclude this unopening. Unfortunately, we still did not find the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I know Maiden, you have failed me today. So... We'll have to get another box and eventually open another one of those in the future. So if you like this kind of type of content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. When we get to 500 subscribers, we will be doing our very first giveaway, as I've said probably three or four times already in this video. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join us. We, we don't bite, I swear. We're a lot of fun when we are trying to be serious. And if you're returning, thank you for watching the video. Give us your like, give us your comment, give us your dislike. Tell us what you're thinking. Um, and tell us what other type of sets you'd like us to open up as well, if they're reasonably cost, because I know a lot of old sets just cost a ridiculous amount of money. And also, they don't have cards, in my personal opinion, that are usually worth the price tag of, of paying the surplus of getting a collector set. But we will get to that point when we get to it. Um, I still need to get my hands on some of the tins in the next two weeks, which I should have that coming in relatively soon. I have to check my card shop for that. And then of course, whenever I can get my hands on another box or two of Lorcana, I'll be doing another unboxing for that one as well. Cause we are still in the chase to finish the set for Lorcana. Um, I've made a vow since inventory is hard to get for that game um, to only open up essentially one case of booster boxes. So I've only had one booster box. I'm gonna try to get three more um, throughout the year. I'm not gonna get three of them at once. So like maybe when the inventory refreshes sometime next week or the week after, I'll get one box in my store and then a couple of weeks or a couple months later, get another one. So I'm, I'm working on a four box limit. I'm not just going to keep consistently opening those boxes because to be honest, I have almost all the cards in that set already. And for the exception of, the, of all the holographics versions of them and of course the Enchanted Rares, um, I'm probably going to end up paying for the Enchanted Rares out of pocket as opposed to spending the $150 per box. We'll see how that whole thing goes, but we'll get to that. We'll cross that bridge, uh, bridge when we get there. But also Lorcana is very difficult to get a ha our hands on anyway. Rant about that was in a previous video or however way I want to go into that one. So I digress. But if you like this con content, like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, this is King Zeph. No time to explain. Till next time, I'm out.